Well, it only took 55 years to happen, but finally a team residing in the host city will be participating in the Super Bowl. And as it turns out, the Buccaneers are the home team in this one. Not only in their own stadium, of course, but as the NFC team in an odd numbered Super Bowl. Now, there are no shortage of storylines, including the Bucks getting this home game in the biggest game of the year. But the biggest storylines deal with the signal callers. For the first time in the Super Bowl era, the previous two winning quarterbacks will meet in the big game. This will be Tom Brady's 10th trip to the Super Bowl, his first with the Bucks in his first year as the head of their snake. He has a 6-3 record with the Patriots in his past nine Super Bowls. For Patrick Mahomes, this will be his second consecutive trip to the big game after leading the Chiefs to a comeback win over the 49ers in last year's game. Mahomes will look to lead the Chiefs to the first back-to-back -back Super Bowl championships since Brady did it with the Patriots back in 2003 and 2004. The team to do it before that was the 97 and 98 Broncos led by John Elway and Terrell Davis. Russell Wilson and the Seahawks had a chance to go back to back and a belly to belly in 2014 and 2015, but they were stopped in 15 by, you guessed it, Tom Brady. And also not running Marshawn Lynch at the one yard line on second and goal with 26 seconds left on the clock and a timeout. Come on, Pete Carroll. Brady is arguably the standard bearer for his position in the history of the game. And in this Super Bowl, we will be treated to the greatness of Brady and Mahomes. Quite possibly the player that will be able to fill Brady's huge shoes over the coming years. Oh, by the way, Mahomes, he's six and one in the postseason. That one loss was to Brady and the Patriots in the 2018 AFC title game. This one is going to be fun. For YesNetwork.com, I'm Chris Sheeran.